All right, this is problem 2.3.91, and we're solving. <coughs> and so what we want to do is we want to start by removing these parentheses, and the way to do that is to distribute. So we're going to distribute the 0.7, and right here we need to distribute this negative, so we're going to take that through as well. Okay, so 0.7 times 6, we're going to have 4.2x, <clears throat> and 0.7 times the 12 is going to be 8.4. Okay, This is equal on the other side to 1.5 minus x and minus 2. And we're, we want to go ahead and collect like terms on the right side now. <clears throat> and so when we do that, this is 4.2x plus 8.4 equal to the 1.5 and the negative 2 would be a negative 0 0.5 minus the x. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this x and move it over because we're trying to solve for x. So we have 5.2x plus 8.4 equal to negative 0.5. Okay. So continuing to solve, we're going to subtract the 8.4 so that we isolate the term that has the variable. So this is 5.2x equal to negative 8.9. All right, at this point, and this is probably what the question is about on this problem, is how do we leave the answer here? So we're going to go ahead and divide by 5.2. And it's just unconventional for us to leave a decimal divided by a decimal like this. We just won't do that. So if you can take your calculator and go ahead and do the division. But if it doesn't terminate, and you can see right here when I do that division, it doesn't terminate. And so it's just we're, we're generally not going to abbreviate um, this and just call it 1.7. What we would do instead and how they're going to leave their answer is actually clear the decimal here. So clearing the decimal means that we're going to multiply by the equivalent factor of 10 to, to move the decimal place however many places that we need it. So if I want to move the decimal place one position, then that would be multiplying by 10 over 10. Recognize that 10 over 10 is the equivalent to 1. And so if I do this, then multiplying in the top that negative 8.9 becomes negative 89 and the 5.2 becomes 52. Okay, and so now we're actually in a fraction that doesn't have any decimals with it associated with it. If we had had two decimal places beyond here, then we would multiply by 100 and that would effectively move the decimal two places to the right. Okay, and if you had three, three numbers behind the decimal, then you're multiplying by 1,000 and so on. So you're just multiplying by basically a factor of 10 to the n where n is the number of uh, number of numbers behind the decimal place okay so anyways uh, the last thing that we want to do here is just take this and make sure that, that it doesn't reduce so I'm just going to check a couple of numbers real quick it doesn't look like it reduces to me so this would be our answer then on this problem